Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and in this video, we are gonna make a Hershey's Crackle Bar, or Nestle's Crunch Bar. Call it what you want. I think you're gonna call it delicious. Two quick things to get out of the way before we get started. I will be using this silicone mini loaf pan, which will give us six of these candy bars. If you want, you can do something smaller. The macros will be based on this size candy bar. Secondly, we will be using these Pro Mix protein puffs in place of our Rice Krispies. Now, if you are very much clean keto, I think this disqualifies because it does contain a small amount of tapioca, enough that we're gonna wind up getting about two grams of net carbs per candy bar. But it's not so much the carb thing as the tapioca thing, so call it dirty keto if you want. If you're all right with that, Let's get to making these things. Whenever I do anything on a silicone mold, I always put it on a small baking sheet just because it makes it a lot easier to transport it around. It's not all floppy. Then we'll put one scoop of protein puffs in each one of the cavities. And I will link to both the silicone mold and any ingredients that I use down in the description. Then give this a little shake just to even out all of our puffs and we'll set this aside. Then in a saucepan over low heat, add three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of coconut oil, and a generous eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. When our butter and coconut oil are all melted, we will add two tablespoons of Swerve Confectioners and whisk until it is completely dissolved. When your swerve is dissolved, you can turn off the heat and we'll just use the carryover heat for the rest of this. We have three tablespoons of almond butter. You can use whatever nut butter you want. I'm using almond butter. Whisk until the almond butter is fully incorporated into our butter and oil. And finally, we'll add two tablespoons of unsweetened dark cocoa powder. Whisk until smooth. Once the sauce is smooth, we will add it to our puffs. As you pour the sauce, make sure you get around the edges first, and then work your way into the center. Don't worry about covering up all the puffs right away. We'll take care of that. I like to make sure that I've got enough for all six and then I'll go back and hit the earlier ones with a little bit more. Then using a spatula or butter knife, I just poke around at each one of the cavities a little bit to make sure that that chocolate gets well distributed and I don't hit any dry patches of puffs as I'm eating. And I finish off by just giving them a little pat to make sure that they flatten out. And then these will go into the fridge for about an hour. Our crunch bar chilled for about an hour. I popped it out of the mold. Mm. What I love about this is first, it has more of a dark chocolate taste than a crackle or a crunch bar. And as I've gotten older, I've really gravitated towards that darker chocolate taste. So I really enjoy the taste. But then just the, the mouth feel, the, the crispy little pops like Rice Krispies it feels like you're eating a crackle or a crunch bar. You can also make this recipe using no sugar added chocolate chips, like Lily's, for example, milk chocolate or dark chocolate. All you will need to make your chocolate sauce is 170 grams of the chocolate chips and three tablespoons of coconut oil, and then your puffs, and you're good to go. And also just for fun, I decided to compare the macros in my candy bars to a perfect keto bar. My bars, a little higher on the net carbs, but they're also a lot bigger, four net grams of carbs versus two net grams on a keto bar. Fat, mine have 22 grams, this has 18, and protein, mine has 14 grams, this has 11. So there you go by way of comparison. The full printable recipe along with all the macros is on my website, link down below. And as I said earlier, I will link to the various products and ingredients that I used in this video, also down below. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, 
hit that subscribe button, and while you're at it, tap that bell next to it so you're notified whenever I release a new video. Thanks for watching.